Hello, YouTube. I'm out here in the garden. Uh, my little hillside garden. No, I'm not trying to sing. Anyways. Uh, I know. Really haven't done videos. Haven't fooled with YouTube in a while. Um, little update. Of course. Number one. Piggies are gone. We have no more pigs. I was fed up with the pigs. They're gone. Freezer. So anyways. It's still early April. Quite nice out. So we gotta get out here in the garden. Unfortunately, my tiller over here is hiding behind the weeds. My tiller won't run. Uh, don't know what's wrong with it. Been taking parts off of another engine. Actually, two other engines. Trying to get it to run. I think the valves or something. I don't know. It must be bad up. You know, what do I get for doing some trading and then uh, completely honestly haven't taken care of it like I should have. Uh, tractor. It needs work. It's been one thing after another with it. Anyways, can't plow. At least right now. Uh... Hopefully get the tractor going soon. But I'm impatient. We have kind of made a retaining wall kind of here for some stuff that we have already planted in the garden. Worked it by hand and a little bit by my little tiller that I have hooked to the weed eater. Uh, doesn't really do a great job. But it works. Got some lettuce already popping up. Uh, loose leaf lettuce. Uh, or that might be mustard or the mixed greens. I gotta look it up. I got written down inside, but I got mixed greens or loose lettuce here and the other kind of over here. Which if you hear a gunshot, it's turkey, spring turkey season, so. Um, but yeah, I got rocks kind of separating stuff, marking green onions. I did just a few broccoli plants, did a few carrots. Uh, we try to do a winter garden with lettuce, spinach, and carrots. Oh, uh, let me come up here, jump over. Yeah, there's my carrots from Winter Garden. Still growing. Spinach from Winter Garden. We actually been occasionally picking leaves off. Come on, out of the garden, dog. Uh, this is actually heads of lettuce. They're starting to pop up, but not much. I don't care for the plastic in the garden. Um, but over here, no, that one's not. All right, dog. I've seen some there. One got a baby pea plant. So we got a little pea plant. Uh, there's a few more down through here, but. Got two rows of peas. Got those started. Uh, we are planning to do another row or two of peas. And then get into our green beans. And then planning on... Of course, green beans and tomatoes got to do them. That's a must. 
but we are planting green beans and tomatoes and hopefully nothing else I got the shovel nothing else get some potatoes planted because we love our potatoes in the family uh, of course it'd be a whole lot handier if I had the tractor yeah <laughs> turkey season turkeys are down there I don't care much for turkey hunting uh, it takes a little bit more work and then deer hunting uh, if they're right back there I don't know anyways I just never gotten into the turkey hunting um, but yeah we're planning on doing potatoes uh, and if I get time, well, I'm going to show you over there where the tall weeds are. I don't know why, but we do wonders with watermelons over there. And I'm planting down farther where it's still tall. It's just, I'm not really going to try real hard, but we're going to possibly plant pumpkin and gourds down there um i do have some i do have a pack of snake gourds never grew them before a little thought of some articles and things talk about putting a uh, fake snake in a garden uh don't know how effective that is I figure if I grow the snake gourds, dry them this winter, and then just put a clear or put a black coat of paint on them, maybe some brown. Don't know. Never really thought of you know if I want to do any more than just black. But I've always heard if you put some kind of fake snake in your garden, it'll deterrent certain things. They'll eat your garden. So I figure grow the snake gourds. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, but I can also use them for uh, deterring other things eat in my garden. Uh, after all that rattling. But basically, this year, um, you know, we, we got rid of the pigs, I said. No more piggies. We still got the goats. Still got a few rabbits, which I'm letting my youngest take over on the rabbits. Um, I am kind of to the point of I have raised rabbits for, my goodness, it's already 30 years now. Been raising rabbits. Um, and I'm kind of more changing into the goats. Uh, so I'm just tired, you know. Focusing on the goats. I won't say tired of the rabbits because I do. I, I want to say still interested in them. But I want to focus my time. For one here in the garden. Um, and then on the goats. Uh, more profitable. More. Just you know. Can get more out of them. Especially my dairy goats. Um, but. You know, I'm really focusing on trying to get this back to a garden. Uh, just miss it. Miss getting out here working in the dirt. Growing something from a little bitty seed. And got kitties playing in the garden. Which is talking about playing in the garden. My daughters have been kind of doing a swing over here in the tree. Which I would like their help in the garden, but I'm not going to force them. Uh, yeah, they have just kind of playing around me and just being out here. I mean, this is one little thing that I'm like, yeah, I wish they'd be helping, but hey, they're playing out here, getting fresh air. 
Occasionally they'll help. But I'm not going to make them. Uh, you know, it, it, they'll be able to hopefully see the garden growing from their swing. And occasionally help in the garden playing on their swing. But I'm not going to make them come out here and help me pull weeds all the time and dig in the dirt all the time. It's might occasionally say, hey, come over and help me for a little bit. Spending time with them. Why well, we do work, but you know, it's kind of I grew up enjoying doing this. Uh, my mom did garden on and off most of my life. Um, didn't do anything. Oh, maybe one year she might have done a garden this big. Maybe. Not quite. But a lot of work, but a lot of good times. So, I don't know. I just. The pigs took too much time money, effort, and I knew if I tried to do garden with them, they would dig under the fence and dig up my stuff, my produce, my food, even though they're my food also, don't want my food eating my food, but I don't know, I, I'm... And they having this, you know, they had this feeling for a while of, you know, take care of what you got. I had a good garden. Still can be a good garden. Um, you know, but I, I kind of had this calling of take care of what I got when I was getting into pigs and I, I don't know, maybe misinterpreted, you know, but, you know, the pigs were just too much. And, uh, I hope, you know, I'll be able to get this going again. So, hopefully, hopefully, next time I do a video, we'll have more planet, more popping up. And if you didn't hear it, there's a turkey in the background. Which I am not going to go hunt. But I got kitty loving on me. Uh, life's good. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully I'll do another video soon. of, uh, And hopefully I'll have my tractor up there. And a pile of junk. Kids toys. Not really junk. And hopefully my tractor will be running soon. So I can get this ground worked properly. And get stuff growing. And uh, I guess I better get off of here. So God bless you all. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll do some more of these.